the book of the prophet Ezekiel, <clears throat> chapter 13. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit, and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord says, and the Lord has not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Yet ye have not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination. Whereas ye say, The Lord has said it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, Therefore, behold, I am against you, says the Lord God, and my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because, even because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace, and one built a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. Say unto them which daub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstones, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. Lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the daubing wherewith ye have daubed it? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in my anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So will I break down the wall that ye have daubed with a tempered mortar and bring it down to the ground so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered and it shall fall and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that have dabbed it with untempered mortar, and will say unto you, The wall is no more, neither they that dabbed it. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesy concerning Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace of her, and there is no peace, says the Lord God. Likewise, thou, son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy thou against them. And say, Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the women that sew pillows to all armholes, and to make kerchiefs upon the heads of every stature to hunt souls. Will ye hunt the souls of my people? Will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread, to slay the souls that should not die, and to save the souls alive that should not live, by your lying to my people that hear your lies? Wherefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye there hunt the souls, to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms, and I will let their souls go, even the souls they ye hunt, to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear, and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthen the hands of the wicked, that he may not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 14 Then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me, and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their heart and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of it all by them? Therefore speak unto them and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Every man of the house of Israel that sets up his idols in his heart and puts the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and comes to the prophet, I, the Lord, will answer him that comes according to the multitude of his idols." that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart, because they are estranged from the thought of their idols. 
Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Repent, and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations. For every one of the house of Israel, or of the stranger that sojourns in Israel, which separates himself from me, and sets up his idols in his heart, and puts the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and comes to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself. And I will set my face against that man, and I will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived the prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my, pe my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeks unto him. That the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people, and I may be their God, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, when the land sins against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it, and will break the staff of bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver it but their own souls by their righteousness, says the Lord God. If I cause noisome beasts to pass through the land, and they spoil it, so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beasts, though these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, they only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. Or if I bring a sword upon the land, and say, Sword, go through the land, so that I may cut off man and beast from it, though these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Or if I send a pestilence into the land, and pour out my fury upon it in blood, to cut it off from the man and beast, Though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. For thus says the Lord God, how much more when I send my four sore judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword, the famine, the noisome beast, and the pestilence, to cut off from man and beast. Yet behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters, Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see their way and their doings. And ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And they shall comfort you when ye see their ways and their doings. And ye shall know that I have done without cause all that I have done in it, says the Lord God. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.